Hey y'all, it's Layla. Today we are going to be unboxing and reviewing the Thrive Desert Essentials from Opening 40 Gallon Tank. So I did a video a little while ago on the 18 by 18 by 24 one and I bought this on Black Friday. It was $100 off so it was $140. It's typically $240. But I'm going to go ahead and unbox it and do a little review on it. Um, I'm just going to start by looking at the enclosure. Uh, being 40 gallon, it says you can house a bearded dragon, leopard gecko, tortoise, euromastic sambo, or rosy boa in this enclosure. Um, bearded dragon, maybe a, a juvenile, but having a bearded dragon myself, I'm about to upgrade to a 4x2x2. Two two. 40 gallons is a little small for a beardy. Leopard gecko, that's actually what I'm going to be putting in here. I think a 40 gallon is a great size for a leopard gecko. It provides plenty of room. A tortoise, not necessarily, because glass for tortoises, I've heard, can be confusing. I don't actually know too much about your mastic, so don't take my words on this, but I feel like this would be a little small for a euro. And then sand boas and rosy boas, I feel like could work in here. Um, it comes with, on the top, it says that it comes with a 40 gallon front opening enclosure, a screen lid with lock and feeding door, an Arcadia 100 watt essential basin spot bowl, 26 watt desert UVB bowl, two 8.5 dome lamps, two thermometer hygrometer combos, basking high decor, desert carpet substrate, and food and water dish. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and see what all it comes with. Remove the lid and it has this nice plastic to cover it up. Firstly, it has these locks to keep the door closed, which is pretty fancy. We can turn them off and remove it. So, this is what the lid looks like. It's the same hard plastic as the other one. And it has this little feeding door, which isn't my favorite because that just gives a pretty escape proof an area for escape because with the locks it's pretty easy but if you have something like a snake in here they could push up on this from underneath and maybe get it open anyway i'm gonna go ahead and open the front up it has tape again over the door like the other one to make sure that it stays closed and this nice little plastic piece in between to make sure the doors don't end up bending against each other. So this opening system is a bit different than the other one. It has a little push down and pull out and it does have a little area to put a lock if you want it. Okay, give me a second. I don't know why it's not open. So this front piece is kind of pushing down over it a bit and making it kind of difficult to open. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. It may just be because I may have to contact the company about that because I feel like that is not how it should be. I should not have to lift this up to open the whole thing. Like, it's kind of caved in. So, yeah, that's that's no fun. So, there's already a complaint about this. Not looking too nice. I'm going to pull off this piece right here. And see if that makes a difference when opening and closing. So, you hear that? That's so loud. It doesn't... That doesn't really... It's like super pushed down in the middle, so when I go to open it, I don't know if it's just, like, you see how that's getting stuck? I have to, like, lift it up. Like, sure, that's good for escape, ease, but, like, that is not a good sign. But anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and open it up and review the stuff on the inside. So I have my little scissors in, and I'm going to start 
pulling stuff out and seeing what is in here. So we have these food and water dishes. I'll pull those out first. Here is one of them, and the other one's literally exactly the same. I already have a dish like this that I got from somebody who sold me a tank. All right, so those are the dishes. Um, next, we have the same old, same old barometer, hydrometer, combo. Again, I would not use these. I said in my other video about the other one that I would rather use like a Gobi, um, a Gobi humidity thing, and I'll link those in the description. They're so handy. But again, it comes with a UVB bulb that does not say what percentage it is. It says how many watts it is, but that really isn't important when it comes to UVB, so I will most likely not be using this. It comes with a basking bowl. Oh. With a basking bulb, a 100 watt basking bulb. It said that it was an Arcadia basking bulb on the thing, but this says it's labeled Thrive, so I'm not really sure. Um, I'll, I'll try it out. I mean, might as well. I normally use a 100 watt basking light for my Gator Dragon. So I'll try it out and see how long it lasts and get back to you on that. Next. They give us this reptile carpet. I'm not the biggest fan of reptile carpet. Um, it's definitely better than like Kelsey sand. And I do actually like the way this one looks. I've had experience with this one before because it's not as like, it doesn't have like fibers to get their toes stuck in. And it can be just plain brown or this. And I uh, have thought about using this as like a background before. So that's that. Then we have this awesome hide back here that I'm going to get out, if I can. Ow! Okay, got one part open. Now i got to get the other part. So here is this massive, massive hide. Um, I think, yeah, my beardy could definitely fit in there. And I do have a slightly smaller beardy, but it has a nice basking platform on top. Um, I saw someone else say this, and I totally agree with her, that it would be so much nicer if they could have made this little flat spot a bit bigger for better basking. Um, but yeah, I definitely think Leopard Gecko, Beard Dragon, would really enjoy this. So I'll be using this for either Harry or Alice. And the last things we have are the dome lights. Um, I'll pull one out and show y'all. I don't feel like pulling the other one out because it's behind the desert piece. But this is the dome light. It is an 8.5 inch dome light. It goes up to 150 watts. So yeah, I'll be using this. I mean, I don't know. I Probably won't use it on this tank. Maybe I might give them a basking spot instead of just a heat mat. But yeah, I'll probably be using this in the future. Uh, there's nothing really bad to say about it. It's just a, it's just a lamp. So yeah, that's the enclosure. I'm going to go ahead and put everything back in it because I'm not currently setting it up. I'll probably do a naturalistic background. Not 100% sure, but I'm definitely going to be setting this up for Harry in the near future. So stick around for that video. Uh, thank y'all so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.